For over three years now, my go-to light here in the shop has been this one from Astro Pneumatic. It's the 40SL Max. I really like this flashlight. I use it every day, but sadly, the batteries have finally gone dead. So in today's episode of Tool Demos, I'll show you what replaces that flashlight, also from Astro Pneumatic, and it's an upgrade. It's the 65SL, so we're gonna put them side by side and compare them, and we start right now. Here's the old 40SL been a serious workhorse. Every time I work on a car, I've always got this on. Pretty sad, but we've got the new 65 SL. It's got some upgrades to it. I'm pretty excited about that. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that this blue part here is a rubberized grip. It's non-slip and I really like the way that it feels. The old one is just a hard plastic and it's slippery. I've dropped it a few times and it could be the reason why it's dead. So maybe this one will last a little bit longer. So here on the side we've got the USB port and the rubber cover for it. These don't tend to last very long. About six months in, the cover for this one fell off and this one feels about the same. I'm going to call this the front of the flashlight, the business end of it. If you turn it over, this is where the switch is. Compared to this one where the switch was in the front, and you can see it barely turns on anymore, but that's where the rotary switch was there. Now this one's on the back, so <laughs> when I turn it on, it's facing away from me and not towards me. I've done this a few times where I've got the switch in my hand, I just use my thumb to turn it on and then I'm blinding myself. So this one, I think it's in the correct position here because I'm holding it this way. And when I rotate that dial with my thumb, I turn it on and I'm not shining it in my face. This is something new also, the charging indicator. You can see that it comes with a full battery, but while it's charging, you can also see where you're at and kind of have a gauge on how long it's gonna take before you're fully charged. Here's another button. And that gives you a light that's on the front of the flashlight, just there. So that's kind of cool. The old one does not have that. It only has the, the one long cob light. Here at the bottom, I think this is going to be one of my favorite parts of this new flashlight. It's got the hook. Oh, it's indexing. So it's got this hook at the bottom. And this one here, the old one, I didn't like it. If you see just there, see that hole there? There was just a wire hook that went from that hole to that hole. And it, <laughs> it fell out every time I used it. It was a kind of an afterthought in their design, I think. And this one here is much better. I also like that it's at the bottom of the flashlight and not at the top. I hated hanging this by the hook on the top because it's got the big handle hanging down and it seemed like, it just seemed backwards. The 40SL has an incredibly strong magnet and I thought I would like that, but when I try and pull it off of the car, you have to pull it off at an angle. You can't pull straight up off of it without separating this joint here. The magnet is too strong for this application. What I'm noticing on here, on this new one, it feels much more natural. The magnet is strong enough to hold it in place, but it's not a struggle to pull it off and it's not gonna be pulling this joint apart. And that's something else. This joint is made out of metal which I like, I think that's pretty cool. They're, they're upgrading their materials. Oh boy. The joint here on the older one is just plastic and it's come apart on me, like I said. All right, with the 40SL plugged in now, it does work. And she's pretty bright. She's always been a really good light. Let's try the 65SL here. Oh yeah, there's a big difference. Let's go ahead and shut off the shop lights and we'll see what happens in the dark. All right, so here's the old 40SL, it's plugged in. Let's 
go ahead and turn her all the way up. She's plenty bright and she lights up the shop pretty well. Now let's try the 65. Not bad at all. I can tell that it's much brighter. I can see, it seems like a wider field of view. Really clear. I really like that. I can't wait to use this flashlight in everyday use to see if it's as tough as it feels. But I don't have any doubts about that because Astro has never let me down. I really like using their tools here in the shop. I've included an affiliate link for both of these flashlights, so you can click on those to compare the specs and the prices for each one to see which one is best for you. Until next time, thanks for watching. To see all my content when it's released, click over here. And click here to see another Tool Demos video. You know you want to.